Hello, St. Luke's. Uh, good to see you. Uh, it is me. Um, I am here doing our midweek message. I have some stuff for us, just letting you know what's going on. Um, we have just a great thing going on this week right now. We have VBS. If you guys have seen anything going on at church and if you've seen in our uh, fellowship hall how amazing it looks and how beautiful it is, um, I mean, the decorations are Broadway level. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. They're really good. So drive, walk through that if you if you haven't gotten to. But um, be in prayer for our students. We have oh, have had over fifty students every day. Um, younger kids from you know from all the all the way from uh, four years old, I believe, up to ten ish. So be in prayer for those kids that they might come to know Jesus and might know more about Him and might learn you know who He is and maybe begin to pray and begin to uh, a relationship with him um, and pray that I might be able to develop great relationships with their parents too, as I'm working on connecting with them and helping them know that St. Luke's loves them. Um, so on, on that note, on Sunday at 1030, we have our VBS kids singing for us in the 1030 service, which is going to be fun. They're going to come up there and they're going to sing a couple of the songs from VBS um and then also after after the service we have a lunch a family's lunch um for the vbs families um on the playground and we're all gonna sweat it out together and it's gonna be great <laughs> can't wait can't wait to sweat it out with them um but if you have any questions about that please just be in prayer for that for them and we have had such an amazing group of volunteers who are incredibly dedicated and are showing up and are doing the work of the ministry and are being plugged in and are serving us and serving our kids and we are so grateful and so thankful for everybody who has been invo been volunteering and i just can't say enough how thankful i am to have you all helping us and how amy how amy is too how grateful we are because you've had you've been a wonderful group of uh, volunteers. So thank you for that. Um, coming up on Monday, August 12th at 12 p.m., we have an info meeting about Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, which is the program that Amy and I are bringing into our elementary students. Um, I don't know why it just... <laughs> that was a surprise to me, but it was really cool. Um, so fireworks. Um, but we are having a, a an info lunch for anybody who is involved at any level, whether you are crafting or whether you are hoping to become a catechist or whether you are just curious. Uh, we need uh, a head count of that so we can we can get uh, an RSVP. You can email me or Amy and tell us that you're coming because we're going to provide lunch and talk about it and provide patterns for some people who've been asking for patterns in the sewing and in the creativity, the creating of things. So this is um, Monday, August 12th, 12 p.m. in the m and building, and we're excited about that. So I can't wait to, to talk more about it. I'm so excited about Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, and so is Amy. It'll be wonderful. And April and I are actually going uh, back to Georgia for another training in, in the middle of August. So we're continuing to, to be trained in that. Um, on uh, At 10.30, we have a need. Uh, the 1030 service <laughs> that's so big at the 1030 service we have a need we need people who are good at uh well people who feel led to say hello to people you know people who feel led to to greet and to uh make saint luke's a place where you would want to come back like if you came into saint luke's and nobody said hello to you and everybody was was giving you the cold shoulder the whole time nobody would come back right but we are a faith we are a kind family a happy like a very warm family for everybody who's coming in and we need some specific especially warm people to uh to wear a name tag and be be greeters um oh i forgot about that so on uh uh on sundays we now ha are, are blessed actually to have a, a a sheriff's deputy who does who walks around our perimeter during the service as an added measure of of safety and security which is awesome I'm, i love that um and one way that we can help that security that that sheriff's deputy is by wearing our name tags so these name tags are beneficial for everybody we get to you know we're, we're able to say hello to people and not feel so lost um but especially for new people 
I thank you for wearing your name tags, uh, but also for our secure for our security deputy. Um, it is helpful for him to be seeing name tags go in and say, oh, okay, all these people are with with the church, obviously, and we're not worried about them. Um, he's not going to tackle you if you're not wearing one. I I can't imagine that he's going to tackle a sweet um, sweet lady walking into church or anything like that. Um, but it is beneficial, helpful. So uh, put them in your car. Or, or we also have some at the entrances, uh, name tag stickers at the at the entrances of the sanctuary. So you can put them on. Um, our uh, August outreach of the month is the Neighborhood Outreach Connection that um, they are the after school program and we're going to be learning more about them actually on Sunday they're going to be speaking during the announcements and then showing a short video right before the directors forum um, and so we get to hear more about that and if that is something that you are wanting to know more about you'll be able to know more about it on Sunday and be able to speak with the leaders um, and be able to get more connected um, August is coming up August August is tomorrow oh my goodness and August is national make a will month so if we have not um, if you haven't made a will then this would be a time when you can focus on it and you can uh, get that you know get that going and plan on it we have some help with that in that we have a tab on our website for um, a legacy giving and that is you click the, the give tab and then you can see legacy giving um, uh, on our website and legacy giving it allows you to uh, to name st. Luke's in your will and there's there are resources and people who are able to help you make sure that your your loved ones are taken care of and you can give um, and provide for the church and your church your Christian family so um, we please consider that think about it look at it pray about it and you can uh, if you have any questions then you can you can talk to me or you can I probably won't have the answer so don't talk to me talk with talk to somebody else about that not me. <laughs> um, anybody on our vestry would be great if you if you really wanted to know um, we also don't forget we have the save the date coming up save the date coming up in uh, in February end of February beginning of March our um, st. Luke's Anglican 2025 conference to be human ourselves our souls and our bodies um, I'm super excited about this because one of uh, my favorite Anglican theologians is Hans Borsma, he's an Anglican priest, uh, ACNA priest, Father Hans Borsma, one of the world's most well-known theologians, truly, in from any church. Um, and he'll be here speaking with us. And I love this book. It's a good book. You should read it. Um, I am going to now turn it over to Jessica because she wants to talk to us more about our, um, our ministry fair. So talk to you soon. Hey everyone, Jessica Maples here from the church office. So glad to see everybody. I am here today to plug the St. Luke's Ministry Fair. I hope y'all are excited. The Hog Heaven team is going to be cooking up a great lunch. Please consider staying Sunday, September 8th after the second service for our St. Luke's Ministry Fair. Um, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great time for you to learn more about ministries at St. Luke's, to have great fellowship, to eat a great barbecue lunch. Um, why should you consider doing this? Uh, I think that for me as a Christian, one of the main ways that I have been blessed in my life um, has been through serving, serving within the body of Christ. I remember one time I was going through a difficult time and I was counseled by a wise minister to get involved and I did and I actually started this was many years ago I started volunteering right here at st. Luke's at uh, in Sunday school and in doing that God blessed me tremendously I called myself the juice and cookie girl and the reason I called myself that is because I had no big title I had no, I wasn't teaching, I wasn't doing anything but showing up and putting out apple juice and putting out animal cracker cookies. And so I called myself the juice and cookie girl, but by being the juice and cookie girl, the Lord blessed me tremendously. So I encourage you, this is going to be a great day of fellowship to come on out Sunday, September 8th for our St. Luke's Ministry Fair. Addendum, I'm going to add one addendum to that. 
in your bulletin this week, you're going to see a way to sign up for the St. Luke's Ministry Fair. If you're a leader and haven't signed up your group yet, please contact me so we can get your table organized. Um, but then in your bulletin, you're going to start to see ways to sign up for all the really awesome events that we have planned for you this year. So I hope to see you um, this Sunday, of course, as always, but Sunday, September 8th, after the second service, please sign up. It's going to be great. See you then.